everyone, welcome back to the channel. And today, I'm going to be touching upon a very important and a profound topic. One that explores the a development of human psychology and the evolution of human history. I'm of course talking about all the trial and error, all the hardship and conflict that's been going on across every human civilization since the dawn of mankind. Across every human society that has ever existed. But this doesn't just apply to humans at the collective level, but everyone's personal growth and maturity in their own personal life as well. This doesn't just talk about all of mankind's shortcomings and errors it's made, but also mankind's greatest achievements, our willingness to innovate, to lay down the law, our willingness to unite, our willingness to open up our minds to new ideas and ways of doing things and to express ourselves through any a creative medium that we choose. And our desire to govern ourselves and each other to make the world a better place based on what we understand. Now this research is based on a number of different studies that have been done on many different demographics of people, all with different goals, interests and values and challenges that they face in life. And the most valuable thing with this model is that it can help you understand why people misunderstand other people's intentions. Now before we get into it, I just want to say I am not the founder or author of this research. The pioneers of this are Claire Graves, Don Beck and Christopher Cullen. The model is called Spiral Dynamics and there are eight levels of a development and each level has a colour that corresponds to whatever level of, of a development that that person or group of people are at. And as we rise up the levels as individuals and as a society, we become more open-minded and mature as a society. And with each level we rise up, it becomes a more advanced form of culture that we live in. So, this is going to be an eight-part video series talking about each level. But for the remainder of this video, I'm just going to be talking about the first level, beige. So beige is where we begin life. This is where life begins when we're first born. At this level, we don't even have a basic sense of identity that grounds us in who we think we are yet. At this level, logic is barely even a concept. In fact, you hardly even think at all at this level. All you can do to navigate a reality is by using your basic five senses touch, taste, smell, hear and see and by using your body's fight or flight response system to either get away from or fight danger. So all reactions are just purely based on instinct. And at this level the only thing that matters in life is looking out for your own personal well-being and safety. Nothing else matters in life even if it comes at the expense of your own friends and family around you. At this level, infanticide is a very common thing. In fact, it's a very common thing you see across the whole animal kingdom, whether it be to reduce competition for food and other resources, or to gain a reproductive advantage by having your own offspring with a mate, all while blatantly disregarding the offspring that your partner had with another mate. Now, in the 21st century, a developed first world that we live in, these old barbaric survival mechanisms might not affect us on a day-to-day -day basis, like what they did in the past. But we don't know if that's the case for different people all around the world of all kinds. Just remember, infanticide is just a testament as to how complex human behavior can be. It doesn't mean that infanticide should at all be justified. Now, historically, beige has been our primary operating level of a development since a before we evolved into Homo sapiens. Yes, this is as basic as it gets. Now, ultimately, the beige mindset was a necessary first move in the evolutionary chain to help human beings overcome their most crude and basic survival needs, like finding food, water, shelter, and being able to craft tools, etc. Tools that we can use for hunting or self-defense. That is if you find yourself having to live like this in order to get by. Now if you were living in these types of uh, situations, beige would serve you very, very well. Because if all these challenges I just mentioned were not dealt with a long, long time ago with these beige methods, we would not be where we are now in the 21st century. 
Now, some key examples of the beige mindset in action in real life would be senile elderly people, homeless people, mentally ill people, infant babies, and Neanderthals. So basically, what all these different types of people have in common is that they all struggle just to get their basic needs met and survive. Now, because beige is so individually focused on its own need just to get by, it doesn't have any sense of self-awareness that its own agenda can actually clash with other beige people around him that are trying to do the exact same thing, just get by and survive. And so the ultimate a dilemma for beige, which ultimately helps it evolve up into the next level, is that it begins to realize the best way to get by is to help each other out, not just focus on me. We need to build a community. We need to all help each other out, get all our basic needs met. I can't just keep fighting with other people around me. I need to help them get their basic needs met as well. And then in return, they can help me get my basic needs met. And so that ultimately becomes the next level, which is called purple, which we'll be talking about in part two. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all in part two.